हेलो वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑफ साइनोबैक्टीरिया साइनोबैक्टीरिया और इट्स अ ब्लू ग्रीन एलगी राइट सो हियर वी विल टॉक अबाउट साइनोबैक्टीरिया एज अ ग्रुप ऑफ मोनेरा ओके सो साइनोबैक्टीरिया इज अ टिपिकल प्रो कैरेटिक सेल विनो वेरी वन एंड दे आर ग्राम निगेटिव बैक्टीरिया राइट एंड दे रेंज इन डायमीटर फ्रॉम अबाउट वन टू टेन माइक्रोमीटर इट मे बी यूनिसेलर और इट मे बी मल्टी सेलर ओके so they have a chlorophyll and they carry out uh, photosynthesis but the most important thing is that they carry out oxygenic photosynthesis that means in the process of photosynthesis photosynthesis what happens oxygen is going to evolve because you see there are two types of bacteria as far as the photosynthesis is concerned one in which oxygen is not evolved and another this is cyanobacteria in which what happens oxygen is actually evolved right so first see the general structure and have a look at this diagram you see this structure can be easily divided into two part so this is the first part right you can see there that thylakoidal like structure is present over there so these are the what we call it is a chromoplasm or outer pigmented region what we call chromoplasm in the central region this is the reason what we say this is actually called as a a centroplasm because in the centroplasm there is not any uh, the pigments area okay as far as photosynthetic pigments are concerned uh they have a chlorophyll a and they have a phycoblens that uh, c phycocyanin and r phycoerythrin right they do not have a chlorophyll b so they have a chlorophyll a okay now you see if you talk about the filamentous forms okay let it be suppose this is a filamentous form okay so in case of filamentous form what happens that uh, it is going to cover with a mucilaginous sheets right so individual filament is actually called as a trichome we call them trichome but this uh, seat along with a tri trichome and this mucilaginous seeds then this entire structure is actually called as a filament so we can say trichome plus a uh, mucilage seed together they constitute a filament and the fragments of the filaments are actually called as a harmogonia so three terms what you have to keep in mind harmogonia trichome and filament right then there is another very important cell that is found in uh, uh, monera and that is heterocyst now in the diagram itself you can see there is a enlarged cell this is actually constituting a heterocyst so heterocyst is a very special cell due to the very fact that they have a capacity to fix atmospheric nitrogen and how can they fix atmospheric nitrogen because they have an enzyme and the name of the enzyme what we call nitrogenase enzyme so this is an enzyme that helps in the fixation of atmospheric co2 okay and uh, we know very well that uh, the uh, cyanobacterium can remain in a free form as well as in the symbiotic forms for instance if you talk about uh, let it be say coral right root of cycas where a nostoc undergoes symbiotic association and fixes atmospheric carbon right similarly there are large number of species that remain uh, uh, that uh, fix atmospheric nitrogen asymbiotically and commercially it is also utilized uh, for the uh, a uh, formation of a biofertilizers right so these are the ecological significance we can say that uh, it causes water bloom what is water bloom that whenever there is going to have excessive cyanophytes and growth in any aquatic body then what happens uh, you might have observed that if you just go across those ponds it, it give you a smell of a rotten fish so it shows a excessive uh, growth of a cyanophytes cells and that leads to very low amount of uh, uh, dissolved oxygen leading to death of uh, aquatic animals so this entire excessive growth of cyanophytes cell this event is actually called as a water bloom that eventually leads to another ecological phenomena what we call eutrophication and earlier i told you that it also helps in the commercial production of the biofertilizers so all in all cyanobacteria is very important for our environment right that's all thank you